Hey guys, it's a beautiful day for a tent review. Today we're going to have a look at the Coleman Ridgeline three person tent. What do you think of the new hat cam setup? It's the uh, first test for it today, so we'll see how it goes. Got the uh, microphone attached to that, so you should be able to hear me clearly enough. Anyway, I'm going to set this up sort of in real time so you can get a, a proper idea of how long it takes. Uh, we have used this tent on a number of camping trips now, so uh, we have set it up and pulled it down a number of times, so gotten pretty good at it. We've got a, a fair bit of uh, experience with this tent now, so I can give you a pretty good idea of what we think of it. Also, just a quick disclaimer, guys, we have no affiliation with Coleman. Uh, we paid for this tent months and months ago with our own money, probably about a year ago now. We're not trying to sell you this tent or anything, we're just going to tell you what we think of it. This is actually the first time the tent's been back in its original carry bag since it was new um, because we don't actually bother rolling it up each time we use it. We basically just stuff everything into our uh, dry duffel bags here. Just makes it a lot easier when you're moving from campsite to campsite every day. You don't want to be rolling it up and trying to squeeze it back into that bag. So let's just quickly talk about the price of the tent. Um, obviously you can go to Kmart or Big W and grab yourself a 20 buck dome tent. They do the job. At the other end of the scale, you know, you can pay $1,300 for an MSR tent. I reckon this tent's actually pretty good bang for buck. Recommend a retail price for this is 250 bucks. At the moment, you can nab it for about 160, which is I think what we paid for ours on sale as well. So if you can get it for 160 bucks, it's, it's a pretty good price. Um, I'll put some links in the description, guys. I think at the moment, Tent World um, has them on eBay for 160. Um, and I think that includes free shipping too. So definitely a good buy at that price. The claimed weight of this tent on the on the website is uh, 2.4 kilos. Um, I put ours as we use it on the scale and it was 2.31 or something like that, so pretty close. I think all we've removed from it is a couple of the guy ropes that we don't use. So yeah, around about 2.3, 2.4 kilos is pretty accurate. The pack size uh, is 46 centimetres by 17 by 17. Uh, that's if you get it perfectly round, of course. <laughs> But yeah, quite quite lightweight and compact for a three-person tent. And the floor area is 240 by 175 centimetres. So there's probably no way in hell that I'd recommend you try and squeeze three adults into this tent. They call it a three-person tent, but you probably know that most three three-person tents are more suitable for two people plus a bit of gear. So more than enough for Nat and I to to sleep in this tent and have our gear inside so definitely a, a spacious two-person tent i would call it not a three-person also uh, on the website it says you've got about a meter of head height inside the tent so i haven't measured that myself but uh, it sounds about right so it is basically a two pole tunnel style tent it's rated for three seasons we have camped in it in zero degree celsius temperatures and you know it's a tent you're not going to be toasty warm inside a tent but we weren't freezing either, so it, you know, it's warm enough. We have also slept in it uh, in the pouring down rain and been perfectly dry. Apparently they also do wind testing to 100 kilometers per hour with this tent, so, so they can handle a fair bit of wind and rain. Let's uh, go ahead and get this guy set up. So basically when we set the tent up, we always put a tarp underneath. Probably not 100% necessary, but it does protect the bottom of the tent if you're on ground that's not perfectly uh, smooth. And um, it can also help keep you out of the water a little bit if it's, uh, you know, if it's quite wet. And plus, um, it's easier to clean off a, a wet and dirty tarp than uh, a wet and dirty tent. So this is just a cheap, lightweight tarp from Bunnings. I think they're about $7. I can't remember the exact size of it, but um, it does fit pretty well underneath the tent. Once you fold it in like that. There's a waterproof fly, pegs, poles, and the tent itself. So just to make it easy for you, there's a great big 
Coleman logo on the front of the tent where the zip is. So you know that's the front. I'm sure you guys know how to set up these tents by now though. Very easy. Now you do get plenty of pegs with this tent and they are aluminium pegs so they're quite lightweight. They are the those angle aluminium type pegs. Uh, whether you love them or hate them, we don't mind them. They work well. So I'm just going to peg down the four corners of the tent, obviously, for starters. I'm not going to bother whacking them into the ground too much since uh, I'm not actually going to be camping here. Let's uh, give you an idea. We have actually had one of those pegs bend a little bit. I don't know how that happened, but um, yeah, I thought they were quite strong, but um, it is possible to bend them. Um, okay, so once the corners are pegged down, take out the poles. You have to be aware that these poles are two different lengths. So you've got a, a long one, which goes to the front side of the tent and the shorter one goes to the back. I always seem to manage to put the wrong one in the wrong place, <laughs> but uh, it's one of those things that you get used to. So yeah, aluminium poles with the elastic inside that keeps them all together. They work really well. Thankfully we haven't broken or bent um, one of the poles yet. Alright, so I just lay them together and immediately see the long one. Put that through the front of the tent. Try and poke it right through so I can clip it in here and it basically just clips into the to the base there. Go around. Feed it back to you build your dome up. clips in there, no worries. Same with the back. So yeah guys, these tents are good. They do have their downsides I suppose. They're not, nothing's perfect. Basically one of the things that we wish this tent was uh, like a, a standard dome tent is uh, how they are sort of freestanding. So if you wanted to move it, if you set it up and found that you were underneath a, a tree that looked like it was going to fall down or a branch that was going to come down in the, in the night, all you do is unpeg it and move the whole thing. I mean, you can still do that with this, but um, once you take those pegs out, it just falls down because it's not a, a crisscrossing sort of dome style tent. And another good thing about the freestanding ones is once you unpeg it, you can lift it up and shake the dirt out rather than having to sweep sweep them out or whatever. Because uh, no matter how hard you try, you always get shit inside the tent. That's, um, that's the base of the tent set up. It's pretty quick and easy. Um, if you're living in a warm climate or it's summertime and there's not too much dew around. Just sleep in it like that. Um, now the fly. On a day like this, when there's no wind around, it's quite easy doing it by yourself. But um, <laughs> if it's blowing and you haven't got an extra set of hands, it can be a bit of a challenge. So you just want to find the, the end with the zip.
Now, another little uh, feature about this tent that I love is these clips. So you don't have to peg this down. You do have to peg it down on the corners, but just here, it clips into the base of the tent. Those little um, little quick release clips. So got four of those. So as you can see here guys, it does have a little window here at the front, which uh, sort of has a stiff thingy there that's supposed to hold open, it's a bit squished now, but that works. So we'll grab a couple more pegs. And the ground's quite soft there. So at the rear of the tent, you've got a little flap here. Um, you can keep that closed if it's raining, um, or ideally if it's warm. You just put a peg out here, obviously, keep it open and still be rainproof. Won't bother doing that right now, but you get the idea. You can also peel half it off. We have done that before. Basically, you just unpeg the back of the tent, lift it up, and you can watch the stars at night or whatever if it's not too cold and it's not going to rain so that's pretty cool over here basically i think we generally put yeah two pegs at the front here and yeah you can put another peg there um, at night we basically just hook hook this one over the same peg here but uh yeah that's pretty much it up so about eight pegs all up and plus the clips on the side there so you open the um, fly here it's not a perfect zip <laughs> it does get caught it can be a real pain in the butt so uh, yeah you can roll that back and it's got some little clips and stuff there to hook it back double slider zip on the uh, mesh here I've got to say the quality of the materials um, that they've used in this tent actually seem quite premium. They do seem quite nice. Um, you do have to be careful with this fine mesh. If it comes into contact with Velcro or anything like that, it can sort of fray it. Um, we have got a little bit of damage on, on ours somewhere there um, because of taking it in and out of the dry bag. It has uh, Velcro on the flap there, so um, yeah, you've got to be careful with that. If you're putting it back in the bag each time, you're not going to have any worries, but um, yeah something to be wary of now what's good about this also having this tarp like this um, you've got a nice sort of dry clean area out here in the vestibule so um, you can easily fit a couple of dry bags in there a couple of helmets boots whatever stuff that you maybe don't want in the tent because it stinks or you can't fit it in there because you've got other crap in there so yeah, I mean, obviously this is a, a hiking style tent. It's not built to be super roomy. Um, it's lightweight, small, easy to carry around, which is good for being on the bike because you don't want heaps of weight and space taken up with the tent. But having said that, you know, there's plenty of room in there for two people. I did actually bring uh, one of our inflatable mattresses. Um, I'll pump that up and throw it in and just give you an idea of how much space that will take up. So we fit two of these in normally and then down the side here there's enough room for helmets and, and all of our electrical gear and all that you know, phones and all that shit. So plenty of room. So this airbed, I think I've mentioned it before, but uh, it's a Cedar Summit Everlight XT. Um, if you're looking for a really comfortable uh, small pack down size airbed. Bloody awesome, they are expensive, but they're worth the money. 
really good, really comfortable. Considering they're only about 10 centimeters thick when they're pumped up, yeah, you'd be surprised how comfy they are. And coming from me, someone who hates air beds with a passion, trust me, they're worth the money. Anyway, I won't bore you with blowing it up. <laughs> we'll come back when that's done. Just pinning back this fly screen here. I don't think we've ever used those little toggles. <laughs> we generally always keep the tent done up to stop bugs getting in there, um, which is a good idea. But yeah, that should uh, give you an idea of the space. So, got two of those. The first one comes to there. Second one comes to there. That's how much room you've got. So, you, you know, you can easily fit helmets and, and shit down there. No problem at all. We'll sit in here. You've got plenty of headroom when you're sitting. So that's no worries. So yeah, with your head up against the end of the tent there, you've still got a little bit of space down here for gear as well, if you need it. So yeah, as I said, we've, we've camped in this, like we've had the tent for about a year. We've done, I don't know, we've probably done a dozen nights in the tent at least. No worries at all um, in the rain, in the wind, it's been fine. So yeah, it does have that, um, that bathtub style floor as well, which helps keep water out, which is awesome. We have had um, an, a couple of occasions where water has dripped from the ceiling of the tent onto us. <laughs> Actually, there was only one time it dripped, but we have noticed a fair bit of condensation inside the tent. But uh, that's going to happen when, you, when it's cold and you don't want airflow through the tent because it's cold. <laughs> um, yeah, your hot breath causes condensation on the inside of the tent. Only one time it's actually gotten bad enough that a couple of drips dripped on us. But yeah, it wasn't hugely bad and it's it's just one of those things that you have to deal with. Yeah, I think because it's a three season tent, you don't get a huge amount of airflow with it all done up. Um, the windows would be nice if they're a bit bigger. I know Nat um, mentioned that before. There are pockets inside uh, along the sides of the tent too. Uh, handy for putting your phone or your torch or whatever if you want to find it easily in the night. So you guys, after 12 months of ownership and quite a fair bit of use too, uh, we've got no real complaints about this tent. I'd have no uh, hesitation in recommending it to anybody that's, uh, that's looking for something like this at around about that price range. But um, yeah, definitely try and get it on special. They do come up on special now and then. Don't pay the 250. Try and get it for that 160 if you can. You ever feel like you're being watched? <laughs> what are you doing? So yeah, that's the uh, Coleman Ridgeline three-person tent. Definitely a good buy. I think now I'll do a bit of a time lapse of packing it away. Very easy to, to pack it away. Super simple, especially if you use our method of just jamming everything in a duffel bag and not worrying about trying to get it back into here. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching guys. I uh, hope this has been of use to somebody. Don't forget to check out the link in the description if you are interested in uh, checking out one of these tents. Alrighty guys, I'll see you on the next one. G2G um, just in time too because these freaking cows are freaking me out man what do you want from me see you guys thanks for watching I think the only thing we've removed is it. No. It, is, it is also wind 